Once the technologist is ready, the patient will be brought into the biopsy suite. The patient will lie prone on the table with the affected breast through the aperture hole. The breast is compressed via a foot pedal and compression knob. A scout image is taken and is used to verify that the lesion is accessible. On the Affirm prone biopsy system, a stereo pair or Tomo scout may be taken. The Brevera breast biopsy device is chosen from the list programmed on the Affirm prone biopsy system acquisition workstation. The Affirm prone biopsy system will use the selected device to calculate all safety margins during the procedure. Once the physician confirms that the target is viable, they will transmit the coordinates to the biopsy control module, or BCM, on the table. Once transmitted, the target numbers and needle selection on the AWS should match with the BCM. The technologist will then motor enable the stage to the targeted position. The technologist will position the biopsy device mount by pinching two buttons on the biopsy control module at the same time to activate the motors. The physician or technologist will attach the Brevera needle guide as well as the needle adapter, if not already in place. The technologist will remove the protective sheath from the needle and place the introducer onto the needle in the 12 millimeter or 20 millimeter aperture position. Then, the technologist will place the system in biopsy mode. The technologist will check that the system has recognized the correct aperture, either 12 millimeters or 20 millimeters, in the taskbar on both the technologist and imaging displays. For an aperture of 20 millimeters, the 20 millimeter mark on the introducer lines up with the long mark on the reusable device driver. Or, rotate the introducer 180 degrees for an aperture of 12 millimeters, where the 12 millimeter mark on the introducer lines up with the short mark on the reusable device driver. While in biopsy mode, the technologist or physician will arm the device from the remote control. The system will not arm under standby. The biopsy device should always be armed before placing on the imaging guidance system. Arming the device sets the appropriate firing stroke, 23 millimeter stroke for standard and 15 millimeter stroke for petite. If the position of the sheath is changed to change the aperture setting, remember to fire and rearm the device so the correct stroke is realized. Next, the technologist will remove the assembled device from the console and remove the protective sheath from the introducer. Then, they will slide the device onto the adapter on the imaging equipment until there is an audible click and the device is secure. If not already done, the physician may place a 10cc syringe of anesthetic on the Y-valve. This is done by simply twisting the lure lock syringe in place. The technologist or physician will clean the skin. Then, the physician will manually advance the tip of the needle close to the skin surface to ensure accurate anesthetic placement. After nicking the skin, the physician will then advance the needle into the breast manually. The needle is in proper position when the differential line on the BCM reads 0.0, .0 in the X, Y, and Z row and shows the colors yellow and green indicating that the needle aperture will be at the target after firing. Here, the physician can decide whether they would like to take a pre-fire TOMO image or a pre-fire stereotactic image. Next, the physician will advance the needle to the final position by firing the Brevera breast biopsy needle using the remote and depressing and holding the fire button. A set of post-fire images will be taken. These images will show the needle in the final position. To begin tissue acquisition, the physician will press down and hold the foot switch throughout the biopsy procedure for the desired number of samples. The system beeps to indicate it has finished the cutting cycle. This is followed by a second, very soft beep that indicates a specimen image is being taken. Turn the thumb wheel at the back of the device to the next desired position immediately after the first loud beep. The numbers in the clock position window on the device and the tactile flat portion of the thumb wheel indicates the position of the aperture. The image of each sample will update on the imaging display as each x-ray is processed. Each image will contain the corresponding letter designation 
labeled A through L, for each tissue filter chamber imaged. The technologist's display will state how many biopsy cycles have been completed and will depict an image of the filter wheel indicating which chambers have been filled with a specimen highlighted in green. The technologist's display will update to the next specimen when the biopsy cycle is initiated. The physician will remove their foot from the foot switch during the last desired sample to complete the biopsy cycle and imaging. The system will continue until the last cycle and image is complete. Once the biopsy is complete, select Lavage on the remote or the technologist display screen. Saline will be introduced and aspirated to irrigate the biopsy cavity, cleansing tissue and other fluids from the site. Rotate the thumb wheel if desired. To aspirate and collapse the biopsy cavity, select Aspirate on the remote or technologist display. The physician may review the images if desired. To review the images, touch the image on the imaging display to enlarge it and make necessary enhancements. Select the Tools button to access the Image Review Tools bar, which contains several additional imaging tools. Starting from left to right, there are several tools the physician may opt to use. The Pan tool is used to move the view to a different portion of the image. The Zoom tool magnifies the whole image. Drag up to zoom in and make the image larger. Drag down to zoom out and make the image look smaller. The Circle tool is used to draw a circle on the image. Drag up or down to make the circle larger or smaller. Once the circle is placed, its size cannot be changed, but it can be moved by dragging or deleting by double tapping. The Window Level tool is used to change the brightness and contrast. The Enhanced Visualization tool adjusts the image sharpness. The Enhancement level displays when the Enhanced Visualization tool is active. The level of enhancement can be adjusted from Greater, Level 5, to Lesser, Level 1, in real time. The Invert tool creates an inverted version of the image. The Reset tool returns an image to the original state. Any annotations, panning, zooming, etc. are removed. The Camera button captures a snapshot of the image display area and adds the snapshot to the current procedure. If you make changes to the image, use the Camera button to save the picture. The Delete button deletes a snapshot. While reviewing the images, the physician may want to tag the samples with calcifications. To do this, tap on the large circle in the upper right corner of the filter image. A large green check will appear when the image is tagged. To untag, simply tap on the circle a second time. If an image or images are tagged, the check mark is burned into the images that are exported, archived, or printed from the system. The Review button allows you to view larger thumbnails of all the images at the same time. The images are sent automatically to the output devices in the selected output group when a patient is closed. However, the physician or the technologist can also manually archive, export, or print images. Selecting the Archive button will send data to a PAX device. Selecting the Export button will send data to a map drive, such as a local hard drive, a USB device connected to the console, or a network drive. You also have the option to send the images to your designated printer using the Print button. When the physician is ready to complete the procedure and remove the needle, the technologist from the technologist display or physician from the remote control will place the system into standby mode to close the aperture. To remove the needle, pull the tab at the back of the handpiece up and slide the biopsy device back, leaving the introducer in place. Carefully remove the biopsy needle from the driver by pinching the tabs to release. Dispose of the biopsy needle in the sharps container. Then, slide the driver onto the driver holder on the console. If desired, the physician will insert a biopsy site marker deployment device through the introducer. After the marker has clicked into place, the physician will deploy the marker. 
Then, the physician may back the system out slightly to ensure the tip of the marker deployment system is out of the field of view. The technologist will then take a final image, showing that the marker was successfully deployed in the correct location. Once confirmed, the introducer and marker deployment system are removed from the patient's breast together. Dial the introducer and marker deployment device out of the breast as one unit. To prep the specimens, the technologist will open the drawer, twist off the tissue filter assembly cover, place the tissue filter cap over the filter, remove the filter, and place in formulin jar. The technologist may use the sticker from the Bavera packaging to check off which chambers contain specimens of interest or calcifications. The technologist will prepare the samples for pathology per hospital policy. After the filter has been retrieved, the technologist will replace the cover of the tissue filter assembly, then remove the tissue filter from the drawer. The technologist will remove the vacuum tubing from the canister lid and disconnect the vacuum line assembly from the canister lid, making sure to seal all ports. The technologist will then dispose of the canister. The technologist will remove the silicone tubing section of the biopsy needle saline line from the pinch valve and remove the saline bag from the hook and dispose of all waste per the facility's protocol. On the affirm prone biopsy system, the technologist will remove the needle guide and dispose of it per hospital guidelines. The technologist will also remove the Brevera needle adapter and disinfect following proper cleaning instructions.